This problem is to show the inverse relationship between prices and uh, bond yield. So when one goes up, when prices go up, yield goes down and vice versa. Suppose a company issued a 30-year 8% annual coupon bonds at par value of 1,000. But the question is, a year later, the interest rate dropped to 6%. So this is a good thing for the company because uh, they were paying and they pay currently these bonds an 8% annual but the uh, going market rate uh, dropped and you would like to know what's the price now that the uh, bond has 29 years to go and if you notice the interest rate dropping low rate meaning that if the yield went up bond prices went down so the inverse relationship so let's find the price using Excel so the inputs are 29 years, because there are 29 periods to, to annual equal payments until the bond is matured. And we have $1,000 as our uh, face value of the bond. The coupon payment, we had that the coupon was originally was 8% times 1,000. And so $80 uh, for per year in annual interest. And then we found that the going market interest rate is, or the going yield is 6%. So what's the price on this bond? And we find that we, we have all the inputs. We plug these in. And this bond should be selling for 1,271.81. And if you can tell now, this is a premium bond. It's selling above par. And uh, why? Because uh, conditions improved for the company after they have issued this bond. Therefore, they beat up the price because 8% was a very uh, desirable rate as rates uh, dropped. So everybody beat up the price and eventually now the price is higher. So if you buy this bond for this price and you hold it for the next 21, 29 years, your annual rate of return will be about 6%. Part B of this problem says what would have been the price a year later if had the going interest rate increased to 10%. So we have the same 30-year 8% annual coupon bond for $1,000, but now we have one year had passed and the interest rates have gone up. So if you notice the as yield or interest rates, going interest rates are up, the bond price should have come down. So let's look at the price, the new price at 10% uh, yield in Excel. From the previous example, we just changed here. The yield, instead of being 6%, is going to be 10%. And notice what, what, notice what happens to the price. Drops. So now this is a discount bond. And why? How do we know this? Because the price is less than the face value or because the yield now is 10%, which is larger than the coupon rate. Remember, the coupon rate was about 8% in this uh, bond.